When students turn in digital submissions, they will um, show up in your to-do list to grade them. So here you can see I have some lab reports from my students. I'm going to click on that assignment and it's going to open up in SpeedGrader. And SpeedGrader is what allows you to grade, annotate, comment, etc. And so, for example, this is a Google Doc that I shared with my students and they had to fill in the white parts of this table and then submit the document. So now as I go through, I could read through the student's assignment and give him points on it. But I also have the opportunity, if you look up here at the top, I can go through and highlight things. I can um, highlight the text and then write a comment about it here. I can add in um, different comments with point bubbles, I could add text, I could strike through. There's a lot of different things that I could do here to leave comment directly on the document. Now for students to see this, they need to look in the document and then look for feedback. Um, sometimes it's a little hard for them to find these comments. Where it's easier for students to find comments, I'm going to delete all this from my students so he's not confused. Um, what you could also do is add assignment comments over here on the right hand side. So I can add whatever comments I want to write about his overall document here. I also can leave voice comments. So if I click here, it will do speech recognition and it will um, write in things. Or I can click on this um, media file and it will allow me to record myself talking with the mic, with a webcam, or um, I probably would just do mic, but if you wanted to have face-to-face, -face, well, your face as feedback, you can. And um, one other thing you can do, this is in the more advanced feature, is I can click view rubric, and I have a rubric attached to this, so I can actually grade it with the rubric, and it's not wanting to move for me right now, of course, as I'm filming. But um, once I have this grade in there, then what I can do is um, I can go to the next student, I'd press submit, or I can click on the arrow up here and go to the next student and their document. And if I click on that link, right now I'm showing all of my sections, but I could grade by just my first period, for example, if I wanted to. And it would just show me in the speed grader those students' grades or their assignments. Now, to go back to my course main page, I can click here where it says biology. If I want to go to the grade book, I could click here and it would bring me directly to the grade book. If you have your um, assignments automatically muted and I want to now release them to the students, I would click here to unmute that assignment. And I can click on the settings gear. And one of the options in SpeedGrader is how to sort the list. So I like to have it by submission status. So all the ones that need grading are up at the top. The ones that have already been graded are down below. And you can even hide student names in SpeedGrader if you want to kind of grade it randomly without knowing who wrote what. Now when I go back to the gradebook, if I'm looking in the gradebook, I can see in the assignment, so here's the lab conclusion. If I click on one of my students' cells that has their grades, so this first one here, there's that little arrow on the right. If I click on that arrow on the right and then click on speed grader, it will bring me directly into speed grader from the gradebook.